this uses a parallel four. So on the button click, I'm going to use use t, the T parallel class, which is in the system threading library, system threading.hpp. And then uh, we're going to use the parallel, the four method as part of the parallel four. This takes several parameters. If there's an owner, the beginning and end uh, iterator value, so one to max, in this case max is 50,000, it needs an iterator event, or that's one of the options, is to pass something that has what looks like an event handler. It has a sender, and it has the value of an index. So I declare my iterator event up here and give it that same under the cover signature. Uh, and then inside of this, I can run my method is prime passing the index and the is prime is the same method I can use uh, whether it's a parallel prime number generator or on button one click I just call is prime in a uh, in a sequential way and that should take longer instead of firing up all the cores and so this is the brute force uh, test for prime numbers to see if it's divisible by something. If it is, then it, and it's not a prime number, then break out and, the, and return the bool as false. And so that, uh, button one is the sequential version. Uh, fine, it runs. The parallel version we call parallel four. So let me uncomment this out, because I want to show you that parallel four has several different variations. So we can, we can actually hit space and see things that are here. Uh, there's a loop state, loop resort, uh, iterator event, 64-bit precision or not, and then there's you know the rest of the constructors and so on. But there's that parallel four method. So let's go again and put four there and uh, and look at it. And then these are all the different variations for parallel four. Uh, and so there, it's an overloaded method where you can just pass an iterator event. Uh, that's the first one up there on the screen and there's the low and high values that we're passing to it. Uh, if you want to have a thread pool, you can pass that as an optional parameter at the end. Then down the way, there's uh, you can have a stride, which is how, how long things happen in which threads. It helps you identify uh, which parts of the parallel four are going to run in a certain thread or a couple of them in a thread and so on. So there's different variations of things that are inside of the parallel four. So let's just take a look at this. Oh, I should mention one other thing. There's this T interlocked class, and T interlocked uh, allows you in a, in a threaded application to do certain operations like increment uh, a value. And this this tote is just a global variable defined in the form. In this case, it's in the public section. So uh, it's a form variable, and we can use that to increment the number of primes that we find. So if it is a prime, then we're going to update from any of the threads uh, that total value of primes found. And we use the, the increment method. So let me uncomment this for a moment, and we'll take a look at, uh, at what we can do. So there's all sorts of methods in T-interlock, increment, decrement, uh, you know, do some testing. Uh, exchanging values, adding a value, and then there's the rest of the you know, things that involve instances and so on. So it's a nice little class that's that you can use inside of a thread to do things like add numbers together and such. So let's take a look at this is the uh, VCL version. So we'll uh, we'll just run this one. And this one, I guess, is a 64-bit Windows version. So if I click on button one, it's going to run the sequential. It says, OK, out of 50,000 numbers, it found 5,134 primes, and it took 434 milliseconds. Clicking button two, which will run the parallel version, it said, OK, we found the same number of primes, but it took one-fourth of the time. It took 123 milliseconds. And again, depending on what's going on in my machine, I'm running in a VM where I have four cores assigned. My MacBook Pro has eight cores. Uh, in my VM here, I've, I've set it up to give uh, this Windows 10 VM four of those eight cores. We can do the same thing in FireMonkey. And so in FireMonkey, we can then run the application on Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. And this is just the same application. The only difference is that uh, it's using a FireMonkey form. 
uh, but it's used the same code. I've got my memo, I've got my buttons, the exact same code. Here's the sequential version uh, again for the loop, and here's the, the parallel version. So this one, let's just run on OS 10. So now I've got my for loop here, and it found 5,134 primes. That's good. And in this case, I'm not in my VM. I'm, I've got all the cores, so it can run even faster.